Hi folks, Tim here again. This is going to be a pretty short video. Today I'm going to go over the three smartphones in the budget range that I think, for the buck, best bang for the buck phones. We're going to go from a high-end limit of 300, which is really pushing what most people would consider budget. There's a reason for that. We'll get to that when we get to the three phones. You'll see the specs on that $300 one are pretty awesome. And then the other two are very, very good phones for the price. And I'll show you some links on the screen where you can find all the specs. And they'll be in the comments below. Make sure to leave a comment. And at the very end of this video, there's going to be a question. And it's an important question as it relates to this video directly. Uh, and if anyone has an answer, leave it in the comments. I read them all. I don't get that many comments, folks. I mean, we have, what, 200 subscribers, roughly? So, hopefully, if you're on the fence or still looking, this will point you in the general direction and will show you what you can get at a super low price. And now I've almost talked too much, so we're going to ask the uh, guy over here to cue the intro. And let's get to it. All right, folks, here I am uh, back. Uh, we're going to go through these three phones really quick. These are my three picks. Remember, this is opinion only. Uh, I'm not getting paid for any of this. This is not a sponsored video by any means. Uh, so let's start with the new mobile G3. You can get this right off of Amazon. Number one advantage. It's going to get shipped right out of the U.S. You're going to have it in a day or so. Maybe two days. If you got Amazon Prime, two days. If you just have it sent regular shipping, maybe three or four. Uh, in some cases, if you live near enough a distribution center, you may have it in a day and a half. Who knows? Uh, let's get to it. It's a 5.7 inch screen. I like this one personally. It's a little smaller. Would fit in my hand very nicely. Has very decent cameras. 13 megapixel primary shooters in the front and the back. And the back also has a 5 megapixel uh, secondary shooter for the bokeh effect if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, it does you know, 4G LTE. Uh, it has a P, uh, Helio P25 processor. It's very fast, good for gaming. It does not have a notch. Kind of nice. And uh, it has all the features you want. You can get all the specs right on the website. It's a 2.93 or 39 gigahertz octa-core processor by the way uh, 4 gig of RAM more than enough and let's face it folks the Samsung Galaxy S9 the standard one not the plus one <coughs> <coughs> has 4 gig of RAM it's more than adequate I know we're all spoiled now more 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 the better but you're trying to save money 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 here it's a 720 display so you're not going to get a bleeding edge display, but from the reviews I've read, everyone says the display is stunning and bright and looks fantastic. And unless you're sitting there counting pixels, get over it. It looked very, very, very good. Um, next downside to it, for some people, it only has Android Nougat 7.1. I, it might be 7.1.1 off the top of my head. I've forgotten, but that will still offer you the split screen functionality. It's a very snappy phone. Uh, you can go and look on YouTube left and right and find a ton of reviews. A lot of people like this phone, especially at the price tag of $199.99. That's steel, folks. It really is. It's a very good phone at a very good price. 3,000 milliamp battery, but as I understand it, it gets extremely good battery life because you're not pushing as big a display as like a 1080. 
So we're going to move on from there. And the next one up is the Umadigi. This is a uh, the Umadigi 1 Pro. Not the Umadigi 1. It's got the Helio P23, so it's a little slower processor. But it does have a 5.9 inch uh, full HD. So it's, well, once again, it's still 720. Uh, I believe. Yeah, it is. And... Uh, it has a couple advantages. It's got uh, the uh, wireless charging that the new doesn't have. And it has dual stereo speakers. Both the new and this have NFC, so you can you know, just touch your phone if you've got Android Pay to the gizmo, so you can just pay that way. Uh, it's a great phone so far. It's got some decent reviews. The fingerprint reader is on the side, while on the new it's on the standard back portion. It also has a face unlock. Uh, good phone, uh, great price. Let's show you the prices I found on it. Right now, for the next two days, you can go to GearBest, 169 bucks. Yes, it has the notch. If you want to go notchless, the, only the first one I talked about is notchless. Uh, it's a little bit bigger phone though, but I don't think two tenths of an inch are going to make a whole hell of a lot of difference. Although you're losing some with that stupid notch up there, I think. It has dual cameras uh, and it's a very good phone. You can get all the specs off these websites. It comes in carbon fiber or twilight. 169 over on GearBest and on uh, Banggood, 199. As of yesterday, it was 179, so it went up. These will bounce up and down. Downside, you're gonna have to order from a Chinese retailer. Wait at least, at least a month to see these. A lot of them say coming soon right now. That's not really there. So when it gets here, you'll be able to order it. Uh, the uh, GearBest site is expecting delivery. Well, they're saying it ships between September 10th and 12th. That is really pretty good. And considering that price, you might want to consider this version. And our next phone up is going to be the Poco phone. And it's currently only available in India and they call it the Poco F1. And the re reviewers in North America and Europe who've gotten one, it's called the Poco phone F1. It's made by Xiaomi. Uh, and it's not currently been released to the rest of the world yet. You would not want to buy the India one, although if you happen to be watching this and you're from India, I got the link to Flipkart on there, which is what I'm going to show you next. This is Flipkart. That's 20,999 rupees, or rupees, and if you convert that on Google, it comes out to right around 300 bucks. And so, this one. This one has 64 gig of onboard storage. The other two do also. Uh, this one has six gig of RAM. Pretty good. It has a plastic back. Oh well. The other two have uh, glass backs. On the other hand, the plastic backs are more durable and they don't crack so easy and break. I mean, plastic is a one hell of a lot more durable material. It might scratch easily, put a cover on it, for Christ's sakes. Uh, I believe it comes with a cover. Uh, you can get all the specs off the Flipkart site, but here's the important one, the one you really need to know. This thing has a Snapdragon 845. That's the processor they normally reserve for high-end flagships or the one plus, uh, one plus six, I think, has one, but it's 200 bucks more. 
Oh, and this, yeah. Now, this is not AMOLED, but it does have a 1080 display. Uh, it has a 4,000 milliamp battery. I think I forgot to mention that Umadigi has a slightly larger battery than the new mobile, but we're still under, I think it's like 3050 or one of those uh, amount. It's less than 3,500 milliamp hours, put it that way. These are the three best budget phones. Now, I promised a question at the very end of this uh, video. So let's get to that question right now. This phone is currently only available in India. Uh, obviously, in the US, you won't find any sh Xiaomi phones on most of the major retailer sites here. Uh, and certainly won't get them through a carrier, kind of like Huawei's. Uh, both of them and a couple others like ZTE have uh, over the years made themselves persona non grata as far as the major carriers carrying them or any government workers being allowed to own them because the Chinese who own large chunks of some of these companies not new they don't that's why you have a USA new mobile website and they sell to Amazon um, you're probably not going to see this phone or the Umadigi even on Amazon you might see the Umadigi I don't know if they've done anything bad or if they're a subsidiary of another company who's done something bad but what I need to know is and this is a very important question in the comments below if you know of a website where they're being sold at. Put the link in, please. Let us all know, or going to be sold at. I'm figuring they're gonna hold back their release for another couple of weeks and then have another big announcement or something. Saying they got a global ROM out. You wouldn't wanna buy the India version because it's gonna be optimized for India and it may, it may have a lot of languages, but it's going to have tweaks for their own systems. It, it is going to be, they are going to have a global release. They, uh, Lou over at Unbox Therapy is carrying one in his pocket right now with a SIM card in it from whatever uh, provider he has up there in the great uh, northern reaches of Canada, Canada. So, those are the three. That's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. Please like this video. Please subscribe and please leave a comment, especially if you know the answer to where you think we're going to be able to get this one. Because right now I haven't found a GearBest, Banggood, Geek Buying, or AliExpress. Uh, I'm, there's a lot of off the wall sites. I don't visit them all. If you know, put a link in. Thanks. That's all for today. I've been flying from town to town.